my YouTube family. Am I brighter than normal? Oh, Lord. And I have the tissues on the... Oh, my. Okay, I think that's a little better, right? Oh, hold on. I gotta straighten you out. I'm trying to I'm trying to get straight for you people. Okay. I'm trying to get straight. Okay, so it is Thursday. Four down, one more to go, people. Sweet Jesus. Okay. Um, you know, it's it's just it's it hasn't been a day, but like a domino effect happened after work at 5.30. I'll let you know. But let's do lips of the day first. It is a gorgeous pink, and it is a pink that I don't remember. Either somebody gave this to me, or I am losing my mind because I don't remember buying this at all. And I don't have a um, liner, and it is not a gloss. The shine that you see is my lip moisturizer, like really Vaseline, underneath what I'm wearing. And it just kind of protruded through because I had to just keep doing this. Okay. This is a Revlon. Revlon, you know, Just Bitten Kissable. This is a Revlon Just Bitten Kissable. And this is in the color Sweetheart. I don't know if y'all be able to see that. There we go, Sweetheart. And when I tell you I don't remember buying this, I don't remember purchasing it. I don't remember going to a store and getting it because I don't recall ordering any Revlon Just Bitten Kissables on Amazon. So either somebody bought this for me, whoever you are out there, please make yourself known, or I'm losing my mind. And it could be that. It could be I'm losing my mind. Like, I really don't remember because these things are, well, I guess they're old at this point. A couple of years old, aren't they? So... In any event, I like it. <laughs> I like it. I, it does tend to travel. It does tend to travel, so it does need a lip liner. Because you can see, even with the, the Vaseline, even the Vaseline's not stopping it. It's just going. But I think it's either the Vaseline is pushing it to go, or it's pushing the Vaseline to go. Something is pushing something. Either way, I do like the shade, though. It's a nice, sweetheart pink. And there you have it. Just Bitten Kissable in Sweetheart. And so, people, oh, and by the way, I'm wearing the other new Milani, new blush. This one is in Coral Cove, and this is it right here. This is it right here. Isn't it gorgeous, people? No, that's not it right there. I want, to, I want you to get the true color of it. It's like right there. That's the true color of it. It's a very bright, corally shade, corally pink. Very gorgeous. I don't know if you could see it with all these bright Hollywood lights at me now. And I'm still getting you. I'm trying to get used to them, people. I'm trying, trying to still get used to them. I mean, sometimes for some reason it feels like they're brighter. They're brighter than normal today. And I don't know what it is. It could be my eyes. I have no idea. In any event, my day was fine. My day was really good during lunchtime because I had a free lunch, people. What? Minding. My own business, minding my own business. I go again with the chain. Minding my own business. Lord. Okay. So I'm minding my own business. I'm at the lunch line, and a coworker of mine is standing in front of me. And you know that um, Bruno Mars song, the the the, the really fast paced upbeat one. I forget the name of it, people, but you know the, the, his newest one. Well, it was playing in the cafeteria. So we were like dancing to it while we were waiting for our food. And then the guy at the uh, at the counter, the cook, said to me, I have chili today. I was like, oh, sweet Jesus. Because at first I said, I really don't know what I want for lunch. And my coworker was like, well, you know, there's a variety. And then he said, well, I have chili. And I'm like, oh. and then she goes, well, I guess she knows what she wants for lunch. And I said, yes, because I love their chili. So he goes, but the only thing is I don't have any rice to go with it. And I was like, well, can I just have it by itself and he goes yeah sure so he put it in a cup for me as opposed to like a, a one of those containers he put it in a, a cup container about yay big 
and he filled it up. And it was, it, it just the aroma was delicious. And my coworker, as he's handing me my lunch, another cook is handing her her lunch. And I looked at the French fries and I said, oh, I think I want some fries with my chili. So she goes, well, this isn't the full plate of fries. It's like half. I said, yeah, I, that's, that's all I need. So I showed the cook. I said, you see the amount of fries that she has? I want that amount of fries for, to go with my chili. So she said, well, okay. And, I, and then she left. So I'm thinking, okay. So I hear her at the register saying, oh, yes. And she has um, chili and she has, uh, uh, she's going to get the side of fries, but she's not going to get a full plate of fries. She's going to get half fries. And I'm looking over at her and I'm going, oh, well, maybe because I'm going to be right behind her. So maybe she's just setting it up for, you know, for the cash, the, the cashier to ring me up as soon as I'm, as soon as I'm done. So the, 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 <laughs> the cashier who also knows me said, um, are you getting soda? I said, yes, I'm getting soda. And then she hits the thing and she goes, do you want a cup of ice? And I said, oh yeah, of course I want my cup of ice. So I'm thinking, okay, by the time I get there, she's already going to ring it up. I'm just going to throw out my money and boom. My coworker walks back and she's going out and she goes, don't worry about it. Your lunch is taken care of. And I was like, what? I said, what are you? I said, did you really just pay for my lunch? And she goes, yeah, don't worry about it. Have a good lunch. And I was like, oh my sweet Jesus. I didn't ask for it. I didn't hint it. I have money to pay for my own lunch, but that was extraordinarily sweet of her. And I think it was because the, that we both like the Bruno Mars song. I don't know, but it was just a lovely surprise. It was just a lovely surprise. So I'm thinking, oh, this is just the rest of the day is just going to be chili willy because chili was really good because it was free. And the French fries were tasting extra delicious because they were free. And my drink went down rather nice and smooth because it was free. And, you know, with the ice, it just made it nice and colder. So, because the ice was free. And I like to chew on ice. So, after I was drinking, after I finished drinking my, my, uh, I had a, I had, I actually had a, um, it wasn't ginger ale. It was seltzer water this time. I had seltzer water. And after I finished drinking my seltzer water, then I chewed on my ice. I can't help it, Peter. I love ice. I really, I take, I have like about six or seven trays of ice cubes in my freezer. And sometimes that's really all I'll have for dinner. I'll just take a few trays. I, you think I'm joking. I am no. I'm anemic. And one of the one of the signs of anemia is chewing on ice. It's because I haven't been taking my iron pills. I when I take my iron pills like for a whole month, I don't chew on ice at all. When I skip and diddle daddle and doodly do and don't take my iron pills, I start chewing on ice. And I am chewing on ice at a rapid pace because I haven't taken my iron pills. But I'm saving my iron pills for that time of the month because that's when I really need the iron because I'm losing iron. So I said, you know what? I like to taste the ice anyway. I don't care. So I have like six or seven trays of ice, of, of trays, of ice cube trays in my freezer. And before I go to work, I'll eat a whole, like maybe half a line of ice. Y'all think I'm, I'm kidding. I'm not, I'm not joking. And then when I come home, I'll eat the other row of ice. Sometimes when I'm watching television, I'll just take a couple of trays, bring it with me in the living room while I'm watching TV. I am crunching away like nobody's business. My ex-boyfriend used to, couldn't stand it, but that's when my anemia was just kicking in. And he, and he kept wondering like, why are you constantly chewing ice? I go, I don't know, but I like it. He goes, do you know how, do you know how maddening that sounds? And I was like, I'm sorry. So I just thought I, I started to suck on them to let it melt. And then when they got really, really small, then I go, <laughs> it was, I couldn't help. It's, it's like a drug. It is like a drug. I need ice. Sometimes I really need ice really, really badly. Like, like, like a drug. I, I need it like a drug. <sighs> TMI, honey, TMI. But that, that is what it is. This is me. This is who I am. Maybe, maybe that's the reason God doesn't want to give me a, a man because he knows that I would drive that man simply insane with me, with the chewing of the ice. But all I really have to do is just start and taking my iron pills again and I'll be copacetic. But I'm by myself. Tom doesn't seem to mind because he really just doesn't care. He's over there sleeping. 
And um, it doesn't seem to bother him, not one single solitary bit. As a matter of fact, when I have the ice cube trays on my lap, that's when he wants to be a lap cat. So I have to move my ice cube trays over on the other side of the couch. And then he just plops himself. He's become a lap cat, people. Yes. Yes, he has become a lap cat. I am the happiest person. Now it's like, now it's like every single night. Every single night, he'll roam around. He'll roam around. And then he'll look at me like at the foot of the sofa. And I'm like, come on. Come on. And he'll hop on. And he'll just roam around the sofa for a bit. And he'll sit. Like he's deciding, should I, I don't know, should I lie on her lap? I really don't know. I know it makes her feel so happy. So maybe I guess I will. So he'll just tip toe ever so gently and he'll stand there for a bit. And I'm like, I'll, I'll wait, but he's blocking my TV viewing. And like, I'm like, but you, you're going to have to lie down or something. You're going to have to walk off or you're going to have to. And then he'll just like, he'll just settle in. And I'm like, oh, Oh, my baby's a lap cat now. He made himself a lap cat. Seriously. So that's it, people. I have to tell you that at 5.30, 5.30, the television was closed. The phone was closed. I'm putting on my jacket. Here comes some fool through the door. Um, I want to buy some, some, um, Raffle tickets, because you know, it's Islander season. So every practically every Friday now, we have Islander tickets to give away. And some people are so stupid. Like, I really call them stupid, because you're going to, like, some of the games are so fantastically brilliant that they spend $40 on tickets. And sometimes they still don't win. So that's $40 you just done lost. But this fool, here he comes. Um, and it's two separate games. So it's Islanders versus something, and then Islanders versus something. Friday game and a Saturday game. I had the computer off and everything, but I didn't, I only had an envelope for one of the games. So he goes, Yeah, I'm buying for the two for the two games. I'm like, two games. He goes, yeah, they're, two, they're tickets for two games. So I had to turn on my computer, check to see what the email said. And sure enough, it was two games. And then I had to make another envelope. Meanwhile, it's 535. Five. Like you couldn't wait until the next morning for these damn tickets because they're not going to give, they're not going to say who the winner is until tomorrow at 3 p.m. Why do you wait until 530 when you see that I have my coat on? Um, I want to buy some lottery tickets. Really? So needless to say, I got caught up in the 5.30 traffic and I was not about to go home until I bought my um my lottery tickets, my own lottery. I got a scratch off and I got my I win for life, cash for life. But usually when I leave at the right time, when I leave at 5.30, I could get to that particular pharmacy that sells the tickets. There's two of them. I go to one on Tuesday one on Monday and then the other one on Thursday. So I could spread my luck around. Can't be focused on just one store. Got to, you know, got to, because you never know where the ticket's going to hit, honey. So I, I buy two tickets on in one store on Monday and two tickets on another store on Thursday. So I bought it at the other store. But this particular store has limited parking, limited parking. And plus, there's still a lot of snow. So a lot of snow is blocking a lot of parking spots. But if I leave at 5.30 on the nose and just go straight to the store, I will be able to find a, a spot close to the store and just get out, get my ticket, get back in, and off I go. But Mr. Man had to buy some tickets for the Islanders game. So by the time I left, it was like 20 minutes to, and I get to the store and now, now it's full. Now the parking, parking lot is full because it's like a little strip mall. And that store is right in where the strip mall is. So I had to keep driving, keep driving. I was not about to leave until I bought my tickets. So I'm keep driving. Normally my parking spot is right there. But there was this big ass GM truck. Like his, his behind was half out the way. So now you have to maneuver around his. So meanwhile, I, I parked further down, had to get out, walk back to the store, get my tickets, walk back. But now I have to back up. 
and I'm backing up and Mr. Man's ass is in the middle of the way. So I had to forward, back, forward, back, forward, back until finally I maneuvered my way out. This shit would not have happened, excuse my French, would not have happened had I left at the right time. I'm convinced of it. On the drive home, on the drive home, I, my car must attract a lot of SUVs, a lot of trucks, whatever, either trucks next to me, that then, then they need to cut me. I had that. They cut me and then they slow down. So now I'm driving behind the truck and I'm like, dude, really? And I can't really pass because there's, you know, like bus stops over here. So the bus would, would block the way. So I have to keep driving behind the truck, saying prayers, saying prayers and speaking in tongues because this truck does not want to go. He cut me real quick, cut me real quick. But now you're slowing down. So now I'm behind you, cars are behind you. And then all of a sudden I see cars passing, passing, passing. I'm like, oh, there must be some space to pass. I found the right opportunity to do so. And I cut in front of him. But cutting in front of him, then there was another truck who ran a red light. Because it was my light to go, green. This truck swerved in front of me. And now I'm behind the truck again. So now it's truck, me, truck behind me now. So I know the truck, the truck driver behind me must be cracking up. But see, I'm not stupid. I know where I am. So I know that this fool, it was a FedEx truck too. That was, that, that cut, cut, that, that drove through the red light. I said, okay, all right. I know where I am. I'm almost home. I'm not going to, I'm not going to cause any accidents or anything. At the light, there was no cars over here. So I moved on over here. And we waited for the light. Now, the street that we have to cross over on the light, it's very tricky. It's very tricky. There's cars going this way, cars going that way. And usually, it's usually a one lane that you can go through. And I said, I'll be damned if I'm going to let this dude cut in front of me again. That light, I was looking at the other light because my light was still red. But you got to wait until that one goes yellow and then green. When it hit yellow and I didn't see any cars coming. Hey, right in front of him. Now it's me, truck, truck, and other cars behind. I got home just fine. Thank you very much. But it would have been a nicer trip had I left at the time that I was supposed to leave. I want some ice now. I need ice to crunch on. Okay, so that is it. That is all, people. Tomorrow is Friday and it's payday. Thank you, sweet Jesus in heaven. My bills are ready to be paid. Hello, Booby. He's behind me. Yes. And boom, he goes on the floor. Okay, so it's Friday tomorrow. It's payday tomorrow. And, um... Yeah, that's it, people. That is it. That is all. Um, I'm tired. I want some ice. And I'm going to call it a day. Did anybody see Empire last night? So it is on Wednesday nights. Empire last night, honey. Cookie is the ish. Can I just say? She is the it. ish. Well, she is a bitch too, but she is the ish. Honey, I just, I love the show. I love her. Taraji P. Henson, she has finally come into her own. This series was made for her because she is playing it to the hilt, honey. She is playing it to the hilt. And tonight is Scandal. And I think it's either tonight or next week, season finale of How to Com How to Get Away with Murder. I was going to say How to Commit Murder. Well, it's basically the same thing. How to Get Away with Murder. It's either tonight, the season finale, or next week. I'm not ready to say goodbye to my shows just yet. But okay. All right. Okay. If I have to, what can I say? What, what, what can I do about it? What can I do about it? Just going to have to deal with it, Nancy. Okay, so that is it. That is all. This is Lips of the Day. I like very much, even though it's 
bit of a wanderer. But that's okay. That's all right. I, I'll deal with it. And uh, there you have it, people. There you have it. That is the look of the day, the lips of the day, and uh, blush of the day. It's not going to be a face of the day. It's regular lips of the day. And that's it. That's it. That's all. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And of course, I will comment after you comment because, you know, that's what I do. At least I could do that when I'm at work. Sometimes I'll wait until I get to work to comment to comment to everybody. But sometimes I'll, I'll comment while I'm still home. Because I like to do that. I like to see what you have to say so I can write back. In any event, that's it, people. That is it. That is all. It's time for me to go. Okay, because I really want my ice. And yeah, I'm going to have to take out a couple of trays and just chew, 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 chew. Mm -hmm. it's, I'm surprised I still have teeth in my mouth. But um, thankfully, they're quite strong. That's it. I love you. I will talk to you tomorrow. And uh, have a nice evening. Okay? I love you. Bye now.